that down, <laughs> that down there was uh, something I, uh, you can probably hear my pop up when you watch that set again. <laughs> oh my god, that was an all for nothing play, but it was a I only did it because I was on stream. If I were not on stream, I would not have gone for it. I'm not going to lie to <laughs> you. You just got to go for it. You got to go for it. Oh man. We have a phrase back in uh, Kansas where I'm from where mm -hmm. you go full horizontal. It's like, you know, when you dive in sports, like full. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that was a full horizontal moment. Oh man. You know, when, I see, moment. when I see YMCA, there's only a few things I can think of. It's that tweet that he sent out, and he made this little Discord thing. YMCA, we should have had it all, an all DK party at Evo. Dang! He's in that club with his <laughs> I still remember that. Yeah, but he's in winners bracket right now. Oh, he is in winners bracket. So yeah. party's not, but you know, party don't start till YMCA the matchup, drops in. The matchup he's going against isn't too favorable. Yeah, for him, it's though. gonna. This is not gonna be fun. Have you seen some of the Twitter posts that have been coming out from the DKs lately about Unsafe. some of the frame yeah. data coming out on Donkey Kong? I looked at that tweet as like, man, exit Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> Go about my day, go I mean, back it could to zero be worse, right? <laughs> Donkey Kong, it actually stands for unsafe on hit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what you gotta do. So, first of all, game number one going in for winner's quarterfinals. And yeah, we talked a little bit about uh, Donkey Kong, right? T3 Dome, the Dome. yeah, the, uh, the Belmont of legend, you know, definitely putting up a lot of uh, a lot of results uh, as of late last month or so. You know? He's, he's uh, competing for Nitro for the right. best victor right now in this region. But these backers already, YMCA proving me wrong about this matchup, though. But yeah. getting in. Yeah, a little bit of an unfortunate situation where he ended up off stage. And that kind of opened up oh, the situation the where in. He gets the ding dong classics to smash for, oh throwing God. it back through and gets that first stock. And only at 39%. You know, teaching you the lesson, even if it's not safe on hit, yeah. might as well go for it. You can end up ahead by a full stock. Yeah, but this is the problem. He just needs to land. That's where the problem comes in that Richter can really capitalize on. His aerials are so good and they can easily compete out. But my goodness. YMC is suffocating T3 Dome with these up airs. Right, <laughs> breaking through the zone, and T3 Dome uh -oh. has his hand full. Oh, that's an unfortunate. He yells, he got YMCA on the microphone yelling, man, I suck. Yeah, but even T3 Dome is shaking his head. Like, you, it's the, you, you don't like to take his stocks, but you have to take them. Yeah, if you're a competitor, you don't like seeing your opponent just drop the stock for free, but you'll take it. You got to, you know, every advantage you can get. Oh, the Holy Water. I thought he broke through it and was hitting it with the hitbox. That's uh, one of the counterplay options for it. But that up air barely gets dodged out. He actually armored through. Used to get and claps his hands above his head. Yeah, who needs shield when he got super armor? Just break right through the zone. And I think that might be like the one thing that Donkey Kong kind of has in his favor, especially when he gets into that close quarters. He's able to really get in there and catch a super armor and maybe, you know, put on a big hit for it. Because not only can DK do a lot when he gets in, Richter's disadvantage is horrendous. Right. Kind of similar back and forth, you know, in terms of both the characters have a little bit of trouble and a disadvantage. But the one beneficial thing that Richter has over is the LPM shield. Right. It's the old school, like, Street Fighter style, sure you can out of, you know, out of the situation. Oh, I thought we were going to see that Twitter Ooh. combo, but we pick up the air dodge read and gets the uh, neutral special to kill. Mm -hmm, that Axe coming in clutch, going to go ahead and take that stop to YMCA. He's doing a pretty good job, but as soon as they see that, he gets comboed up 33% already. Right, and he's already behind, so, you know, good presence of mind from T3 Dome. He was behind by nearly a full stock, like 22% to on his second stock, and he's already closed in and taken the lead. That's kind of probably some of the volatility of the matchup, you know, just having to work through it. And Donkey Kong's scary because he gets one oh hit like God. this, and we got trouble. He's what actually, a mash, but an air dodge buffer. Oh, man. I mean, uh, it comes and goes, right? Right. <laughs> and, uh, I loved when I was actually talking to Mr. Conton about mm -hmm. him going against the Isabel player. I look over to my right and I see him practicing the zero to death on the Isabel. <laughs> oh my goodness. But great stuff from there. Flubs from both sides, especially with the air dodges. Yeah, I, I, think, I think a couple more flubs from uh, T3 Dome maybe on that side because he started off that first stock and was really behind because he ended up off stage and then the mash out. So it's if he really, claims that up, he's, you know, YMCA's got his work really cut out for him. It's really impressive to see how YMCA is able to rush down just yeah. Donkey Kong out of all the characters. Right, <laughs> you, you just got to break through. You know, and sometimes it's it's, sound, it's it's a little counterintuitive, right? Sometimes being able to uh, to block goes a long way towards being able to play rush down, you know, and he's, he's kind of yeah. used to it. But simultaneously, we saw that situation where he just super armored through. Speaking of big damage and uh, just break right through, can't break through that wall. And he's able to spot dodge out of it, the up tilt is unsafe on hit from there, my guy. It's not working out, and these holy waters are snuffing out YMCA. He can't hold on to that ledge for too long, my guy. He's 
not working out for him, and he finally tries to find his way in. But as soon as they see that T3 dome, he's back. They've been living on Melez the entire game. Tries to standard get up and gets through. I always get scared when that holy water comes out because you know the forward smash is falling up. Yeah, and that forward smash barely misses out. Great SDI for YMCA. He can't even grab the ledge. This is looking horrible for him. Yeah. This is an entirely <laughs> different game, and there we go. Someone get the airtime on that Donkey Kong right now. He's just been, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, it's like Tony Hawk where you get that bonus time. <laughs> right. Staying in the air. That multiplier is going up all the way up. But speaking of that, he just got out, and he already takes 66% damage. This right. is not looking too good for him right now. I think you got to find a new counter pick, my guy. Van Kayla is do something. <laughs> oh my god. He probably banned Pokemon Stadium too, because you don't want to deal with that right. giant space. But right now, this is looking horrible for him right now, and you cannot neutral get up <laughs> against that holy water. Yeah, and um, T3 Dome's got this firmly under control. Not all, I mean, he can take a few hits and still be able to battle right back. So, and still be in a very comfortable lead. They got a full stock to work with, because he's on his third stock. It's a three to one at the moment. It was just able that T3 Dome was able to really push the momentum forward, getting that first stock. Because remember, YMC got the first stock previously right. and able to get that drag down there, but Armor's right to it. Yeah, Hope Burns Eternal gets his stock, and he's at 45. If he pulls out some Miracle and gets an early stock, then we have ourselves a ball game. However, that's easier said than done. You got to break through the wall. Yeah, it, it is Richter, after all, as uh, Donkey Kong. Right. And Donkey Kong don't like these projectiles, and he doesn't neutral get up again, but this time he only does it for the last tick. And this time he was expecting the falling there. You can't do it again once like that. And he's actually able to get away, but the up air finally clips him out. T3, don't. How do you fight that? <laughs> As Donkey Kong, how do you fight that? Uh, YMCA looking a little shook, kind of yeah. searching himself for an answer. And I think that answer is probably going to be a lot of it's going to you know, pick a different stage. Let's get your counter pick going. Get the weather gauge in your favor, and let's bring it home, he YMCA. He needs those platforms in order to get those ding-dong combos off, because the first one you saw, right. he was able to climb up to the platform and finally get it off. But this, that stage was just way too, causing way too many problems. For and he picked, did he pick Town and City? Yeah, it looks like, I think he picked Town and City, so I think we're going to end up uh -oh. going there. Oh, uh-oh. Is this the moment where he's like, I don't want to go to loser's bracket. It's not time to party yet. They said Donkey Kong is the, uh, you know, the party. I know, but Roy, bracket. Roy, he's going Roy. an excellent counter pick, though, because right. he's able to rush him down, finally able to get find himself in, but YMCA. I've yet to see YMCA as Roy, though, so I'm right. kind of, because uh, he's playing again like Donkey Kong. He's not <laughs> rushing down. He's playing the little patient game, and the yeah. up misses as well. And that's kind of one of the things. You always get caught in your feelings, right? And once you get a beatdown that's pretty bad, you kind of start thinking, man, maybe I should go a different character. But a lot of times from the competitive mindset, you kind of just got to throw what you know in the moment and really lob it out. And if you're going to come, oh, oh no. picks up a forward smash, and we're, he's, gonna, oh, he's got enough for a recovery yeah, time. Yeah, but that's really good. I didn't yeah. think that F smash from Slip and through, but nice use of the Holy Water. It to get away, he jumps out of it just in time, and he fades out the option knowing that just that T3 dome by throwing out these options left and right, he's able to bait it out successfully, and the weak hit though, unable to push him off stage. Yeah, he got the weak hit. It looked like he was gonna follow up, but he spot dodged and said not a not a lot of confidence coming out from YMCA. Just maybe a little bit of unfamiliarity in that situation. Yeah, but not a familiarity there. That's old faithful, get the holy water, follow it up. Just basics of the Richter, uh, or yeah, the Richter play. Yeah, no problem. Holy water, I actually choked on my own <laughs> holy water. It's like so hard, no worries, I got you. I got you covered in. You know, YMCA trying to battle back. He's got a juggle situation. We're talking about the disadvantage, but not really capitalizing and cover the stage like he'd like to. And yeah, but that was a great. I, he was going to up you out of shield, but I think T3 Dome knew it and was able to auto cancel it easily. Right. And that bear forcing him in a really bad disadvantage state. But YMCA, he can't get the stock. Yeah, still putting on pressure. Man, a little ping pong playing catch with himself. Yeah, got the cross bounce, and he's. Or till me off stage, picks up an axe, hitting with everything. He's just hitting buttons and he's getting hit and uh YMCA is getting hit by it. And, and that he gets the sweet spot of that F tilt as well. YMCA forced in a horrible position and the cross touch and takes him out and the down smash to clip him out. Look oh. at that option limitation, forcing the air dodge, covering the platform with the smash attack. YMCA with nowhere to go, and he's down to his last stock before he joins that party in the losers bracket. Because it's like Good I back said, here, like, in the Discord, right? Nice back here, yeah. nice back here. <laughs> DK Club, DK Club, is the most crappy club. Yeah. But also, you have to feel that the thing is, is that Roy is able to get in, but T3 Don't has shown oh, time and time again he's able to set these walls up. Yeah, he's very slippery. Once you get, like, well, getting in is half the battle. It's you got to win one more exchange after that to really start, you know, getting the wheels turning. And then you have to win another exchange right. again and again. And it's just this really aggravating thing. That's what zoners do in every single fighting game. They frustrate you and make you do these really bad options. Look at Guile. Look at, uh... 
Uh, all the zoners, the allism on the Street Fighter uh -huh. side. Yeah, we're talking FGC games. We're at Wednesday night fights, and uh -huh. you know, uh, YMCA looking at a losers bracket. You know, right in the face. I don't know. He can potentially come back. He just needs a few hard reads. And remember, Roy can kill extremely early. Right. He just needs an F tilt near the ledge. He's looking for it for maybe a jab into back air. Confirm. Unable to find anything. Reeves around him barely though. Great job. Good he pressure. Oh, he jabbed the wrong direction. <laughs> Almost read it though. Looking yeah. so good, but the down air does miss. But unfortunately, unable to find a punish right there. Oh my god. As long as you know, Sword has had that ring. Wow, he picked it up. Bird. Oh my lord. Into the axe. T3 Dome. T3 Dome with the psychic axe. YMCA shaking his head. You know, it's, it's a little tough. I mean, you got to feel it's a, it's an unfavorable matchup right. going against these projectile characters. And the worst part is, you know, uh, maybe not worse, but. The heartbreaking part is he picked up that first game. He thought he was in business. He was like, oh, today is the day oh, that we, I conquered. We thought, too. Yeah, just right. like, wow, oh, man, why I'm saying this is the day that he conquers his demons. And, you know, holy water be damned, he's yeah. going to take it. But dropped the you know, won the first game. But that second game, such a commanding presence coming out from T3 Dome. And then after that, it's all she wrote. He went with the Roy. You know, needs a little more mileage time. Isn't and the, lose, losers <laughs> the losers bracket party has begun from YMCA, but it'll be a fun party for sure. He's he's gonna he's a trooper. He's gonna make his way. Hey, there we go. He got uh, got me on the microphone, uh, uh, and he's trying to show. There's a tweet. It's the losers bracket party. Called, ah, now you put me back <laughs> up, man. Production's like, no, you can't. No, no supplemental messaging on the stream. I'm gonna get banned from 2GG. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, you bring it back up now. Oh my. But if you're just joining us on the stream, we're routing in the top 16. I'm CT Lux on the microphone.